So I really built the Bills Cardinals game up to be like something that you need to see, like must see TV. I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back because it just was that. At least for the last five minutes, maybe up to that point, it wasn't super exciting, but hell of a game, hell of a finish. Uh, the Cardinals ended ended up pulling it off, uh, pulling off a two point win. I think it was what was it, 27, 20, 26, 24, or something like that. No, 32, 30. That was the that was the final. So I said uh, it was going to go over 60 points. I was right. I said it was going to be a good quarterback's duel. I was right. Kyler Murray came out on top. And I'm going to try to explain the last sequences. So the whole game, Buffalo, up, uh, having their way. Not, it wasn't a dominant performance, but they scored on their first drive and field goals. And, you know, they were moving the ball. Um, couldn't score a bunch of touchdowns, but were moving the ball. Had a two-score lead going into... Uh, the fourth quarter, and Cardinals chipped away. They came back. They took the lead. Buffalo's last drive, driving down the field. There's at one point where uh, I was at third and four. Cole Beasley runs a little out route. Josh Allen throws it. Uh, I think he forgets at this point uh, on this throw. I think he forgets that Cole Beasley is five foot six. Throws it. Uh, Cole Beasley skies it. One hand comes down with it. They keep the drive moving which sets up Josh Allen throwing what appeared to be at the time a game-winning touchdown to Stephon Diggs. It was a great setup um, by Dayball. Gave Diggs a lot of room. He set Diggs up on the inside of a trips um, on the left, and he just kind of set Patrick Peterson up, and it kind of gave him a lot of room uh, to the corner of the end zone, and it gave Allen a lot of room to kind of just throw the ball out in front of him where it was going to be a Diggs catches it, or no one catches it kind of thing. And he drops a dime into Stephon Diggs, who's one of the best receivers in the NFL by far. And there's 32 seconds left. Looks like go-ahead touchdown. Not so fast. Cardinals get the ball. They throw. They start off with a 12-yard pass over the middle. They call their timeout. I think they started the drive with two. Um, they throw another pass in the field of play. Another timeout. 11 seconds left. They're at the 50. So... I think I'm going to do a further breakdown of this because I was just so impressed with this play. Ball gets snapped. They get pressure on Kyler Murray. They're rushing three or four. They get pressure on him. Kyler Murray has to do a little Kyler Murray shimmy to elude a sack. Rolling out to his left. He's rolling out to his left getting chased. He literally turns. Momentum still going the opposite way where he's trying to throw the ball. Literally just turns his shoulders. Throws one up to the heavens. 50 yards. This is pretty much all arm. Throws it up. Three Bills in the end zone, one Cardinal. That one Cardinal happens to be DeAndre Hopkins, potentially the best receiver in the game. He goes up with those big-ass hands of his. He grabs it. He brings it down. They score a touchdown. And then, and then they take the lead. There's like two seconds left. And then why I love the Cardinals. <laughs> why I love the Cardinals. Me, personally, I bet on them. I got the Bills plus three. And as to not have any funny business where... The Cardinals get the extra point blocked, and it gets taken back to the house. They knee it instead of kicking the field goal, which would have made my better push. Instead, final 32-30, great game, was the game. You told you you should have watched it. You came here, there was a video, I told you that's the game you need to watch. If your team is not on, you need to watch that game, and I was right. Hell of a game, hell of a finish, definitely game of the year 2020. Bills looked good. Josh Allen did what he needed to do to what he thought was going to win the game. But then Kyler Murray's like, no, 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 my friend. I'm actually going to go down and win the game with a Hail Mary because I have DeAndre Hopkins and you don't. And that is what happened. And it was awesome to watch. And it's definitely going to be the play of 2020. And it was definitely the game of 2020. And the Cardinals, the Card now we have a three-way tie at the top of the NFC West. Three-way tie. Cardinals might be the best team in the NFC right now. I, I don't know. Uh, but they definitely took a step up in my eyes. And, and the Bills didn't take a step back because they did what they needed to do to win, except they couldn't stop a Hail Mary. So um, good game all around. Great game. Game of 2020. No doubt. Kyler Murray, Josh Allen. I was right. They're going to be studs for a long time. And it was great to watch. Potential Super Bowl matchup? I don't know.